What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. My name is Israel. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So today I want to talk about one stock, okay? One stock. And uh, the only reason I want to really talk about is because I'm concerned because there is so many YouTubers, so many YouTubers. I've watched over probably 10 thumbnails because I really don't watch those videos. And uh, and I'm concerned because all these guys keep calling breakouts and everybody's so bullish and I'm concerned for the newer guys that I'm ju I just like blindly following these guys and I think the they will be up for a disappointment so I just wanna you know give my peace and again I'm sorry if you are long in this stock you're probably gonna throw some hate in the comments all hate is welcome just make sure that you are polite and don't use cuss words and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you're along in it, it's probably gonna hurt your feelings a little bit, but I'm not here to sugarcoat things for you. So before I get started, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing for more. So the stock that I wanna talk about is the infamous ZOM, Zomedica. And their greatest ever true forma product. So okay, so this is the daily chart of this company. That by the way is a dollar seventy, and it has a float of nine hundred and seventy-two million shares. So almost a billion share float. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Google is your friend. All I'm gonna tell you is that is that screams dilution share dilution almost a billion share float let's keep going so this is a daily chart oh everybody and all, all these guys that i've been seeing i'm not gonna mention any names are calling these these right here oh we are about to break out this is this is a breakout coming big move is coming okay that's not what the chart is saying so let's just uh Let's get to it. So we have this big move to 290, okay? Then it pulled back. It retested that 290, and what happened? Failed that level, got rejected massively. And you can say that ZOM is following the SPY, and when the SPY goes up, ZOM is gonna go up. Nah, you're full of it. That's called uh, holding hope, and let me tell you, buddy, that strategy doesn't work so it came all the way down yeah he has some support here why did he stop here okay technicals don't lie what happened back here that's the closing price of this day that is gonna create support you see this candle you see this wick you see the body of the candle that's where the price action closed that day that is gonna be support and that's why it bounced right here okay so it came back up right here you see the bottom of the body of this candle this area is gonna be heavy resistance okay let's highlight this area right here this area is gonna be heavy resistance so this right here was a breakout okay this right here was a breakout yeah I give you that then we had this day so we had this right here guys is what is called this right here yes that's that's called a first red day trade okay so you got a lot of shorts interested in this because you got one green day one second green day third green day all shorts are waiting for this first red day setup and look at this candle okay look at this green candle almost a doji now compared to this golf engulfing bearish candle where did it go it go to this area and it got again once more rejected in a very nasty way pulling making a high this day let's look high to 272 with a low of 209 that's almost a whole point for a two dollar stock okay almost a whole point for a two dollar stock now it pulled all the way back here 
and why back here again guys because look left what is the tip of this wick the tip of the body of this candle that is gonna be support prior resistance becomes support now it came down it went back up why didn't keep going up because it got rejected it could not break the resistance of this previous price action right here okay so this area is always gonna be also resistance and if you come back here to the daily on the daily chart so you see the body of this red candle with the body of this green candle with the body of this red candle so you're gonna have some heavy heavy resistance at that price level what happened tested that resistance failed what happened the following day tested that resistance again and it failed dramatically given it a red day okay so the setup that this is showing right now is gonna show some it's showing that it wants to continue to the downside and I would expect it to retest this support at 147 area the 140s 140s 150 you know let's let's talk about zones instead of prices when it comes to uh, support and resistance because it's not always gonna stop by the penny okay so it's more like a zone if he fails this it's gonna come down to 130 because there is no other really you got this wick here but again very low volume again that's that's another thing that's another thing to keep in mind what what has happened to the volume on this thing like there is no volume I know they released the true format thing uh, before expectation because the company was ahead of schedule and all this bullish stuff and news and and I just feel guys like there is a lot of people just holding and praying especially in this area right here people that were chasing <coughs> so I mean if you are below this area guys if you have a big position between a dollar and a dollar and 40 cents I would consider at least cutting your risk in half taking some profits while you can because this is not looking good I don't care what all these other youtubers are saying and they are trying to predict okay they they are trying to predict like they cannot see the future so this I think is about to bounce now no that's not what the chart is showing that is not the price action on this daily chart it's not showing any recovery anytime soon all you got is rejections of key levels I don't see anything bullish about this chart right now okay let's look at the max weekly chart so what happened here guys why did he stop in this area huh look left what is this previous high right here 298 so again let's not talk prices let's talk about zones so that 290 to three dollar area is heavy 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 resistance with this look at this volume candle now look at the rest of these candles like if this stock doesn't get some crazy volume and I'm talking about algorithm type of volume to like purposely create a short squeeze this ain't going nowhere because with a 972 million float I don't know guys so you just think holding and hoping is not a strategy okay protect your capital and stop following I'm not saying to like unsubscribe or anything like that I, I'm not like trying to bash anybody okay because everybody's doing their own thing and whatever everybody can do whatever they want but think these youtubers that you guys are following and taking all these advices and calls look how many subscribers they have try to see how much money they are making from YouTube they can afford 
to lose 10, 20 percent on a position and they can replenish that with their next YouTube paycheck. Can you do that? That's my question. If you can, go for it, baby. And hold and hope. Hold and hope. It was the same with, you guys remember Jag X? I got so much heat for calling that stock garbage. So much heat. I was getting some nasty comments and I don't know what I'm talking about. Jagex is doing a reverse merger with whoever and they're gonna be ten dollars in two weeks and I have no idea what I'm doing, why I'm moving why why am I even reviewing stocks on YouTube? I have no clue. Okay, so what happened? Oh yeah, yeah. This happened. These right here, yeah, uh, yeah. I see it now, yeah. That's, that's that's what happened, yeah. I remember this guy commenting on my stuff, like being nasty, man, for no reason. You have no idea what you're talking about. Blah blah blah. Jagex is doing a reverse merger with this company, and they're gonna be ten dollars in two weeks. Okay, buddy. I hope you're doing fine. I I, I don't remember your name, but from my heart, I tell you're doing good, buddy. Because uh, obviously this didn't work out too well for you. Because uh, all these companies, uh, I mean, yeah. And you see this price right here, that, that stock was never $7,413. This just means that they've done 487 million reverse splits. Why? Because they suck. They're garbage. They're unprofitable. They don't make money. So they always need to be doing splits to stay above compliance and to pretty much dilute the companies. And uh, I'm not saying that ZOM is JAGX, but with almost a one billion float for a under $2 stock, I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you are holding ZOM and let me know why. Okay, I just want to know why. What is your conviction that this stock is going to do well for you? Now, if you tell me that you have a 40 cent average, 50 cent average. Now, if you are red and you got a $2.50 average, why? Why are you holding this? Are you just holding and hoping? Like what's the plan? Just let me know in the comments. What is your plan if you are red on ZOM and you are still holding it? All right, guys. Happy Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow.